Section 14.4 Dissociation Constants for Acids and Bases As we have seen, acids have different strength depending on how much they dissociate in water. Because the dissociation of strong acids in water is essentially complete, the reaction is not considered to be an equilibrium situation. However, because weak acids of water dissociate only slightly, the ion products reach equilibrium with the undissociated weak acid molecules. For example, formic acid, the acid found in bee and ant stings, is a weak acid. Formic acid is an organic acid or a carboxylic acid which the proton written on the left of the formula dissociates to form the formate ion. Formic acid is a weak acid, loses one proton to form the formic acid, CHO2-1 ion. Dissociation constants for weak acids and weak bases. An equilibrium expression can be written for weak acids or weak bases that gives the ratio of the concentrations of the products to the weak acids or base reactants. As with other equilibrium expressions, the molar concentration of the products is divided by the molar concentration of the reactants. Because water is a pure liquid with a constant con uh, concentration, it is omitted from the equilibrium expression. The numerical value of the acid equilibrium expression is an acid dissociation constant, or K sub A. For example, the value of K sub A for formic acid at 25 degrees Celsius is determined by experiment to be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. Thus, for a weak acid, HC2H4 formic acid is KA is written the concentration of of H3O plus hydronium plus times the concentration of formic uh, formite CH2O2 negative sorry divided uh, divided by formic acid concentration is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. The K sub A for formic acid is small, which confirms that the equilibrium mixture of ionic acid or formic acid in water contains mostly reactants and only a small amount of products. Recall that the concentration units are omitted in the values given for equilibrium constants. Weak acids have small K sub A values. However, strong acids, which are essentially 100% dis dissociated, have very large case of A values, but these values are usually not given. Table 14.5 gives the case of A values for the selected weak acids. Acid dissociation constant A and base dissociation constant case of B values for selected weak acids and bases. Phosphoric acid, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3. Hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid, formic acid, acetic acid, carbonic acid, all these acids are weak and so so will be mostly reactants and very little product. Bases, weak bases, methylamine, carbonate, and ammonia also very weak. Now let's consider the equilibrium expression for the weak base methylamine Methylamine aqueous plus water yields methylamine cation plus hydroxide. As we did with the base dissociation expression, the concentration of water is omitted from the equilibrium expression, which gives the base dissociation constant, or the base ionization constant. Thus, for a weak base such as methylamine, the K sub B is written. Table 14.6 summarizes the characteristics of acids and bases in terms of strength and equilibrium position. K sub A of strong acids are towards products and are very, very large. They, they dissociate at 100%, which is all reactants, and the conjugate base is very weak. Weak acids, the equilibrium position, or case of A, is very small. It's towards the reactants, and the small percent of, pro of, of product reacts. It has a strong conjugate base. 
the strong uh, bases are towards the products, which are ionized. They have long, they have very large case of B um, ionization constants, and 100% of of, uh, of the reactants react, and its conjugate acid is weak. Weak bases are towards the reactants. They're not ionized. Very small case of B, and a very small percent of uh, the reactant reacts, and its conjugate acid is strong.